Welcome to Selenium Master Video Tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use some list keywords in collections library when using robot framework for test automation. Robot framework collections library provides many keywords that are used for manipulating list in your test script. In this video tutorial, I will explain the keywords get from list, get index from list, get slice from list, insert into list, remove from list, remove values from list, reverse list, set list value and sort list. Get from list returns the value specified with an index from list. Get index from list returns the index of the first occurrence of the value on the list. Get slice from list returns a value of the given list between start and end indexes. Insert into list inserts value into list to the position specified with the index. Remove from list removes and returns the value specified with an index from list. Remove values from list. Removes all occurrences of given values from list. Reverse list. Reverse the given list in place. Set list value. Sets the value of list specified by index to the given value. Sort list. Sorts the given list in place. Now let's see the example. The first line, my list equal to create list with three items, A, C, D. And this keyword create list creates a list named my list. And the list is initialized with three values, A, C, D. Second line, append to list, my list. F B E. I appended three items to the list named my list. Next line log list it will return the length and the content of my list. And sort list sort list is used to sort the list value by it is alphabetical order and also by its number. Next line is log list. So on the line 3 and line 5 we have log list. The line 3 returns the original order of the list. It will be A, C, D, F, B, E. But after a sort list, A will return A, B, C, D, E, F. Next line, the variable x equal to get from list, my list, and this is the index. We get the uh, first item from the my list. Now we log the number. Next line, x index equal to get index from list. This will return the index of the item E. Here E will be the last item in the list. Next line 9 new list equal to get slice from list. As explained get slice from list Returns a slice of the given list between start and end indexes. 
So here we return a list that start index 3 and end is in index 5. Using log list, we can get the length and content of the new list. Insert into list is used for inserting value to the position specified with index. So here, my list minus one that is on the last item and we insert G. So y equal to remove from list, my list, and zero. It means we remove the item on the uh, zero index. In other words, we return the first item and remove it. Now we log the removed item. Reverse list, reverse the given list in place. This will reverse the given list. So if you would like to keep the original list, make sure you can use copy list to make a copy of the original list. Now we use log list. Next one is remove value from list. This will remove the items from the list and it will not return error if the item is not exist. Next line, set list value. Set the value of list specified by index to the given value. So in the reverse order, we set the value of the second item to number four. And last is list should contain value 4. Now let's look at the result of the script and explain some of the keywords again. In this test suite, we have many test cases. So I target this test case as list test 6. Click on the run tab and click on start. So now the test is completed and one test passed. Now let's look at the log file. Test suite is collections keyword test suite. And the test name is get list items test. Now let's explain the keywords one by one. Keyword create list. We created a list named my list and initialized with three items A, C, D. Next keyword append to list. We appended values F, B, E to the list, my list. So we should have six items all together in list, name it my list. Now let's look at log list. So list length is six and it contains following items A, C, D, B, E. Next one is sort list and sorts the given list in place. So now let's look at the result after sorting the list. So when the list is created and we appended some items, it kept the order in which the items were added. After we using sort list, the values get sorted in the list. Now we have A, B, C, D, E, F. The items are sorted by the alphabetical order. get from list and index zero because the zero index item is a so x return a now we log the x 
get index from list returns the index of the first occurrence of the value on the list. E stands for the index number 4. So now x index equal to 4. Get slice from list returns a slice of the given list between start and end access. So now new list equal to D and E because it starts from 3 and end is 5. So it got slice 3 and 4. Log list we have two items. List length is 2 and it contains following items. Now insert into list. Insert values into list to the position specified with index. Since we used minus 1, it will insert G at the last item. So now let's look at the um, minus log. Uh, here we did not return the log but let's keep on going. Remove from list. Removes and returns the value specified with an index from list. So first item index is 0 so we remove the item and it return A. Now we we'll log Y. Now let's uh, use the reverse list. We reverse the list item is. Now in the reverse order it became F G E D C B. The order got changed. Now remove values from list D and E. So remove all occurrence of given values from list. Now we set list value my list the second order and a four. So last line is list should contain value because we'll set the second order items from the reverse order to four. The list should have the value four. So all the keywords passed and the test passed. We can add some log after slicing or removing from list. Now let's add a log and find out. After log we add a log list and we add my list. After remove values from list, we can add a log list. Now let's run the test again and uh, look at the logs. Click on the log file. So let's look at the log list on this line. So this list has altogether six items and the order is B, C, D, E, G, F. Now we reverse the list and we log the list. After reversing the list, the last item in the previous list has become the first item in the reverse list. So F is 0, G, E, D, C, B. Now remove values from list. We remove D and E. So the new list 
should have F G C B. Now we'll log list F G C B. So as explained in this video tutorial, you can use keyword get from list, get index from list, get slice from list, insert into list, remove from list, remove values from list, reverse list, set list value, and sort list to manipulate list in test automation script. For written example, please visit www.seleniummaster.com website. Thanks for watching.